guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a blush, highlighter, bronzer, declutter. I was going through my stuff and I felt like I wanted to declutter some things. Most things I've been through to declutter before now so I'm not going to go through those but I think I'm going to do... Today I'm going to do blush, bronzers and highlighters and then after that I'm going to do eyeshadows because they're the, bo they're the two most overwhelming categories in my collection. So I have two boxes here and some loose ones here. Normally there is kind of method to my madness, but as you can see right now, it's a little bit chaotic. So I'm just gonna swatch some things and we can do some collection stuff as well. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna chuck out. I don't know if I'm gonna chuck any of it out. But it's nice to go through your collection and see that you enjoy everything that you currently have. First things first, I have the Too Faced. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is one of my favourite bronzers in the whole entire world. Because it's just perfect for my skin tone. It just gives me this perfect bronzy look. So I'm going to keep that. I have an Essence Blush here. This is the Matte Touch Blush in Peach Me Up. Just looks like that. I've never worn this blush on the cheeks. Swatching it appears to be a little bit patchy, but it does build up quite nicely. That's a really nice shade, really pretty colour. What I might do with that one is try it on the face and see if I still enjoy it. I'm going to put that just in front of me here in a maybe pile to try. This Ciati Dewy Stick I got recently in uh, one of my cohorted subscription boxes, just th there. Um, I'm keeping that because I've not tried it out yet. Pixie by Petra, the bronzer, I'm keeping that. This I got from a giveaway that I won from Jess. Jess is, what's her channel name? I'm trying to remember. The Beauty Playground, I think is her channel. That's what that one looks like. Um, I've not worn this on the cheeks yet, so I'll put that with the Essence Blush to try out. Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana, I've got like a huge amount of pan on that. I'm going to put this in my drop 10 before summer for this year, I think. It was in last year's. Hopefully this year I can get it all sorted. And the clasp, as you can see, is actually broken. So the sooner I can get that out, the better. I have this. This is I Heart Makeup Light and Glow. It's just called Light and Glow. It is the pinky one. It's supposed to be two highlighters. And they're beautiful shades. Beautiful. And they swatch really nicely as well. Sorry, you can't see. So I, I've not tried those on the face, so I'm going to try that. I've got the Sleek Highlighting Palette. This one's in Solstice. That's what that one looks like. Keeping this for sure. Love that. I have the Makeup Revolution. They have multiples of these. This one is the Blush Queen Blush Palette. And that's what that one looks like. I've not tried any of these shades, but some of them are just stunning. I need to try them on my face, like, they're not what you would call your traditional blush colours and I think that's what draws me to them, it's like, it's a little bit something extra. There's those two there. I'll try those out and see how I feel about them. Okay, let's get rid of that box. I have the NYX. Shrove Genius, I've not tried this on the face either, but I have swatched these and they swatch beautifully. So I'm going to be keeping these just to try out how they are on my face. That's what the swatches look like. They're just beautiful. I have the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. This one is in Radiance. They have more than one highlighter palette, that's why I'm checking the names of them. I think they have like three or four of these three pan highlighter palettes, all with different shades in. This is the Radiance one. Um, this is good if you like a more subtle highlight, but me, I prefer to be Unicorn. So what I might do is try them, and then if they're too subtle for me, I might declutter this. So I'm going to put that in the to try pile. I have the Makeup Revolution. This is the Golden Sugar Bronzer and Highlight Palette. I'm keeping this for sure. I have the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighton in the shade Fair. 
That's what that one looks like. I'm keeping this. I love this bronzer. I don't love it as much as the Too Faced one, but it is still a really nice bronzer. That's what that one looks like. I have the MUA Undress Your Skin highlighter in the shade Pink Shimmer. That's what that one looks like. It's kind of an iridescent -y pink shade. I've not tried this one on the cheeks either, so I will put that in the true dryer pile. These two look exactly the same. And I think I might have decluttered it already. I had a d another pink one as well, which was similar to that one. But I think I decluttered it. Um, so I'm going to swatch these next to each other and we'll see... If they are the same, if they are, I'll get rid of one. I don't know if you can see that, but they are like identical. I can't tell the difference now. Now I've swatched them. I, I, can't, I couldn't tell you which one's which. So they are exactly the same shade. What I might do then is get rid of this one and keep this one because this one I've got more use out of. I've got a big dip in there and this one I can pass on because I've only just swatched it. So one to declutter. In fact, I'm going to put all the decluttering stuff I'm going to put in this box here. I have a sample in Becca Moonstone. Love that highlighter. Keeping that. I have the NYX uh, Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic. And that's another one of those white, um, creamy, with that flashes gold kind of highlighters. Let's watch it next to the other ones. That. It's the same again, but it's more subtle. I don't know if you can see that. Like, on my arms, they look exactly the same, except the NYX one is definitely more subtle in terms of the gold that it gives out. Um, gonna think about that one. I have Gerard Cosmetics in Audrey, I think this is. I say I think because it didn't come with a sticker on it. Sorry, I was just thinking. I'm not the biggest fan of that highlight. I'm gonna declutter that one. The Balm Mary Luminizer. That's beautiful. Yeah, swatch on your knuckle, Claire. That's a great place to swatch it. Keeping that. I have... That's a primer. Don't know why that's here. I have the Too Faced Love Hangover blush. I love this blush. Definitely keeping that. I have the NYX Mosaic blush. That's nearly gone, like that's its repressed state. Like there's barely anything left in there, so I'm just gonna use that up. I have the Sleek Blush by Three palette with Crochet, Gui Pure, and Chantilly in. That's what that one looks like. I've not tried any of these on the cheeks, so I, but I do want to try them because they're like different. There's um, a coral, um, a shimmery coral and like a more orangey toned one. They might be way too warm for my skin tone, but I was waiting for the spring and summer months to try them out to see if I liked them or not. That's the orange one, that's the shimmery one, and that's the corally pink one. The orange one, I can almost guarantee, will not look good on my skin, but um, these two might, and I just want to try them in the summer months while we can to see if I do like them. If not, I will pass that on. This one, definitely going for a declutter. This is the Essence Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette. The reason I'm decluttering this is because there's no pigment to any of these shades at all. Like, it takes so much building and so much work that I have really great bronzers and highlighters in my collection already. I don't need to work for... Do you see that? I don't need to work that hard to do that, so... <clears throat> I'm decluttering that one. I've got here a NARS blush. This is in Deep Throat. I love this blush. I'm keeping this. Totally keeping this. It's beautiful. 
I have Milani in Luminoso. This is a cult favourite. This is another one that might not suit my skin tone, but I was waiting for the summer months to try. And the brush just fell out. That's beautiful. I'm going to put that in the two try pile. And the brush can go in the trash. I have two MUA blushes here. I'm keeping both of these. This one is Cupcake and this one is in Bubblegum. I love these blushes. I'd have them all if I could. I have the Iconic London Luminizing Drops. You can tell how often I use it by the fact that it's still in the bubble wrap that it came in. But this is another stunning highlight. But you barely need any of it. I will never, ever, ever get through this. Never, ever. But it is just beautiful keeping that 100%. This one I'm not sure about. This is the Dulce Pink Cream Colour by Bang Beauty. It's beautiful, but it's too pink to wear as a highlight, and it's too highlighty to wear as a blush topper. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's just that there. I think it would look good on somebody with medium skin tones. I might try it as a blush and then like put a powder over the top of it and see how I feel and then decide what to do with it then I think. I have California by Benefit. I love this blush. Love, love, love this blush. Keeping that. Definitely. I have Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swell in Charming Pink. This is an amazing highlighter. This is one of my favourite highlighters of life. 100% keeping that. 100%. I don't know why I keep saying that. I don't, I've never said this before in my life. And I just decided for this video that I was going to say 100%. Um, Pixie by Petra in Peach Honey. I've not tried these yet. I will try these out and then I will decide. Let's swatch them, shall we? They're really soft. Really, really nice and soft. And one's like a peachy pink and one's a more gold shade. The peach might be a bit too dark for my skin tone. We will see and then I will decide afterwards how I feel. I have the Sleek Cream Blush in the shade Crimson. And it just looks like that. It's very red. Can you see? It's very, very, very red. And I wouldn't, but I wouldn't wear it like Oh wow, that's, it's pigmented, but it feels so good. It's so soft. It's seriously pigmented, you don't need as much as I put on there, but it's so soft and beautiful. I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna try that on my face, definitely. I've got pins and needles. Oh! In case you're wondering why I have one sock on, it's because I had a crisis with my nail polish on my toes, and I had to redo one foot, but my feet were cold, so I didn't want to take both socks off. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is another cult favorite, but it might be a touch too dark for me. I do not have a medium skin tone. I have a pale, pale as anything. Cool tone skin tone, so golden bronzy highlights don't look good on me. That's the swatch there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it and if it really doesn't look good on my face, I will pass this on to Amanda because this is one of her favourite highlights and she's finished hers up. And I know she said she didn't want to buy another one, but I figured if you acquire another one, that's not really the same thing. Um, I have the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in Aura. I also have it in Sin, which I, is in a Project Pan right now, so it's not in this declutter. Um, but Aura is the pinky shade one. I might measure that. Oh, pins and needles. Oh, isn't that the worst when you get pins and needles? I might. Oh, sorry, I was talking. I'm going to measure it next to the MUA Undress Your Skin. Even though it's nice to have a drugstore and a high end alternative in case I do a drugstore video. But do I really need the exact same shade? I can't get in it. Apparently, I need it. Okay. Um, okay, so the I'm going to keep both because. You can't see. I'm completely out of frame. So this one is the MUA one. This one is the Urban Decay one. I don't know if it'll come off on camera, 
but the MUA one is more peachy and warmer than the Urban Decay one, which has more blue tones in it, so I am going to keep both. Here's another one of those MUA blushes. This one's in the shade Bonbon, keeping that one as well. I have two of the Urban Decay Afterglow. These are the blushes. I have Quickie and I have Fetish. Fetish is my favourite blush of all time, keeping that. Quickie is like this hot, hot, hot pink, which I've only ever worn once, because it's one of those shades where it's really hard to wear. And if you go out, then you need to be prepared that you're going to look seriously extra. I might think about getting rid of that. Maybe. I will try it on the face, see how I feel. Fenty Beauty, she's staying. This one's in Fire Crystal Lightning Dust. It's the more pinky. It's it's the middle one. There's I think there's one pinker than this. And there's one more gold than this. This is the sort of champagne toned one, the one in the middle. Fairly sure. Fairly sure that's the one that's what that one is. I have MAC uh, Soft Frost Extra Dimension Skin Finish, keeping this. I love this highlight. Love this highlight. It's duochrome, so it's sort of a white highlight, but then it flashes purple. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's just there. I don't know if you can see it flashing purple or not. Oh, you kind of can. It's just stunning. I'm keeping that. I have a MAC blush in Plummy. Breath of Plum. And this is a sheer tone blush, so it will be more on the sheer side, but that's what that one looks like. I just kind of smudged it all over my hand. I'm keeping that. Sorry, my camera died and I was still filming and I packed a load of stuff away, so we're gonna go through it quickly. What you missed was I, sw I swatched the MAC Sheer Tone Blush in Breath of Plum. I'm gonna swatch it again because the swatch that I did was awful, so I'm just gonna swatch it. But I am keeping it because I love the shade, but it's not seasonally appropriate right now. That's what that one looks like. Beautiful, beautiful shade. So I'm keeping that, I decided. And also, um, there was MAC, this one. This is Beaming Blush. It's one of the duochrome extra dimension skin finishes. And it's pink, but flashes gold. You can see the pink there and then gold there. Um, I love this, I'm keeping this. It's just beautiful. You can see pinky gold there. It's just stunning. So I'm keeping that one as well. And then I started packing away. Oh no, I had this one. I had the Avon Face Pearls. I decided that I was going to try this. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or if I was going to use it. So I decided to keep it and try it and see how I feel. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just started putting everything back, basically. Sorry that you missed not a lot. Oh. Now my camera um, auto shuts off after filming for 20 minutes. And you don't realise just how fast 20 minutes goes until you're trying to film and your camera shuts off. Okay, so in this box is my blushes, bronzers and highlighters, the singles and anything that comes in like this small round or square packaging. And in this one is my uh, blush and bronzer palettes, the, some of the bigger circle ones and some small palettes and also cream blushes, cream highlighters, that sort of thing. Goes in there or tries to go in there. I need a bigger box for this, really. There we go, that's all fit in there. And that's everything for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.